My name is David Mulhausen. I'm a research fellow in empirical policy analysis in the Center for Data Analysis at the Heritage Foundation. I thank Chairman, Chairwoman Patty Murray, Ranking Member Jeff Sessions, and the rest of the committee for the opportunity today to testify in the effect of sequestration on children. Okay. My name is Sakari Whitehead. I am 10 years old and just finished fourth grade at Gerson Elementary School. President Barack Obama has claimed that over 70 or 700,000 young children will be kicked off Head Start due to sequestration. I graduated the Head Start program at the Aram C. Mazik Child Center five years ago, but I do remember how much I liked it. The clear implication is that 70,000 children will somehow be harmed by not attending Head Start. This would be true if Head Start was an effective program. I remember them teaching me how to read and write my name. I also remember sometimes seeing the doctor there to get a checkup. Calling for more spending on programs may seem morally compelling, but continuing to spend taxpayer dollars on ineffective programs is morally indefensible. Head Start, Head Start helped me get prepared for kindergarten. When I got to kindergarten, I already knew how to read and write, but my new classmate did not. Using evidence from scientifically rigorous evaluations of national programs, my written testimony makes the case that real reductions in spending on early childhood education and youth job, tra job training programs would not produce harm. I tell my brothers all the time how much I love Head Start. I tell them it can help them in school because I know it helped me to be the honorable student that I am today. Head Start is intended to help disadvantaged preschool children catch up to children living in more fortunate circumstances. Similar results occurred, well first, the Head, the Head Start impact study found that almost all the benefits of participating in Head Start disappeared by kindergarten. I have been on the honor roll since I started elementary school, and I am very proud of that. Similar results occurred when the children were assessed in the first and third grades. Today, my favorite subject in math is, I mean, in school is math, which not many people enjoy. But when I grow up, I want to be a teacher so that I can continue to teach children like myself and help them to succeed. Thank you again for listening, listening to me today. But and you can always find somebody who's going to praise the program, but Congress never invites anybody to say, well, you know what, I don't know if the program works or not, or the program doesn't work. Congress never invites those people because the idea is to always to find people who are going to praise the program and ask for more money. But it is important for us to hear, so I just wanted to clarify that. I was kind of offended by your remarks in, in your testimony. 